Good afternoon, potato chips, we parry from across the shock, and this might be a long one, so get a cup of tea or watch it later when you've got time. Um, this is a video uh, that had a strange beginning. Y you've seen by the title already, why do we carry a secondary knife? And there's a couple of reasons that I think that I carry secondary knives. I'd love to know if you're the same or you have different reasons. A lot of the times I'll carry a secondary knife because I like to have one good and well cared for knife in my pocket in case I'm stopped by somebody. And it's really strange because I'm the knife person in between everybody I know. Uh, and I like to have that nice knife to show off and then a knife that I'm not afraid to do everyday tasks with, which can be mucky, whichever. But I was taking this knife out this morning and this is an expensive a hard to get knife. It's a Northwoods. It's the Michigan Michigan Jack, which is the perfect size. It's the same size as a a, a number fifteen pattern GEC. This is another knife that I will take out by itself. Not as expensive or not as hard to get in the basic fifteen pattern. But this is not. This has been bastardized, and I mean that in the nice possible way. This used to be a two bladed knife. It had the cap lifter and then the sheep's foot, which is one of the most popular knives in the GEC. Um, collections. Um, it's got a, a little uh, easy nick knife. Beautiful. So has that. But yet the price difference between these two is probably £100 plus. This is this Northwoods probably over £200 now to get one on the secondary market. These came out about six years ago. Um, so but and these are, you know, when they come out, I mean, you can get them for 130, 140 pound when they're out. They're cheaper than that when they originally came out on uh, on release. So I would carry this as just a, an an everyday knife, and I no need for a second one. And I and I sit and thinking, well, why is that? This was a grail knife for me at one stage, really was, because I didn't think I would ever get a Northwoods, and I've had a few now because I. I had to change my buying, my how I got knives. And we know that story anyway. But this would have been a grail knife that I would never have thought I would have used. I would have just kept away as something to take out and just use about the caravan where I'm not going to use it um, roughly or in a, in a situation where it could damage the knife. But now I take this out as a knife. Now, most of my knives are about the same size. My 90% of my knives are going to be between a hand length of between three and a half and four inches and a blade a blade length of two and a half to three inches. That's probably 90% of my knives are that sort of standard. So it's not a, a length of knife. It's not a, you know, I'm not a heavy user. Um, I'm, I'm retired, so I don't do an awful lot of heavy hard work. And I have knives if I want to do that. If I'm, you know, you know, I have plenty of knives that I can use for dirty hard work. And then it got me thinking, well, why? why do I choose certain knives like a GEC and a, these would be a lot of people's, you know, dream knives. This one, I paid £200 because it was a polar bear on it. I haven't used it. I bought it for that. Crazy. Now that's the collector in me. I like to have something that's different. I would never think of taking that out by itself. I would maybe have this with it or have plenty of other knives that I would use along with that. Even Rough Rider would do it, it wouldn't matter. Anything at all I would take with it so that I could, you know, hard use it if necessary. Most of my life I'm going to have to come back to is not hard use. And then I was going through, well, what other knives have I got that the money doesn't mean anything? It's just the knife itself. This, I think, is so pretty. And it's again, it's that, you know, this cost me about £200. It's a custom made by J.H. Lloyd. So, I mean, I'm getting a custom knife for that price. That's not bad. But then I have this that I just recently got. My Pena. About 280 quid these were when they came out, if you can get them now. They're like hen's teeth now. So I don't know whether the place price is the same or it's gone down or it's gone up. But that's not the point. I got this in a, in a trade for another knife that was the same value. Uh, I absolutely love it. But I will use this. As an everyday carry, and, I, and it's carbon fiber. It's not, you know, all you know, a rough knife. This is a beautiful knife with a blade steel, which is just fantastic. K three ninety, fantastic, absolutely super. 
And then I've got this knife, which is just over £100. I can't bring myself to use that. Although it's new to my collection, I know it's always going to be one of them knives that I'm going to find hard to bring because this blade material, or this blade, the handle material, is just stunning. And I have a fear of dropping and breaking it. I don't want to drop and break this. But, you know, I mean, it's why is that? Why, why is the price all of a sudden not that important? Here's a Jack Wolf knife. <laughs> And it is my favourite Jack Wolf knife. Absolutely beautiful knife in this dark matter carbon fibre. Beautiful, beautiful knife. I would never think of taking that out solely by itself. Already, I mean, these two are about the same age, but I would, I don't, I would never take this out by itself just in case I had to do a knife because that's special. That you know, whatever it is about the knife, I look at it and I think. Oh, no, I don't want to damage that. That's going to say stay in my collection. Yes, I'll use it for light cutting or to show off. But I'll use this one for any sort of cutting. Why is that? They're about the same price, 275 280 What is the difference? And it's got to be just looks. It's got to be how, how that knife relates to me. Do you know, is it... A, this is from my favourite custom maker, yet it's a very reasonably priced knife here's another knife i've had for years and i i don't use it not because i don't like the blade shape i think it's a fantastic blade shape but when i bought this and this is where i'm thinking is this it subconsciously in your head i love the anchor because i'm an ex-sailor and it's a rope knife it's an otter messer steel is fantastic a great using knife but yet i don't use it a lot i have no explanation for that because when I go and I look at it, I think, oh, I'll take that. No, I'll not take that. For whatever reason, whether I've just put that in my head with the navy or with whatever, and I just wanted to, to keep it looking nice. Now, I don't polish the brass. I don't over-polish knives at all. But, you know, I've not never touched that with brasso. But yet, I don't use it a lot. And it's nothing to do with a knife. It's my perfect size of a knife. What is that? And like, sometimes I think, you know, another time is if I'm carrying a locking knife, I'll take one of these knives with, you know, I, don't, it, I can take a slip joint with me if I've got a locking knife. And I don't care what work will have to be done. It'll be done by this. Do you know what I mean? And this is a fantastic knife, not a cheap knife. I'm sure it's about the same range as this knife here, the GEC. They're about 130, 140. An absolutely super knife, fidgety knife. You know, it's all the things that I don't do a lot of anymore. I used to, but I got this one and it, it, it's brought that back because it's about the same size as a pen knife. Do you know what I mean? It, it's the same, that same sort of handle length as my penya rather than the 940, which is a little bit longer. This is definitely in my wheelhouse. So when I carry this, I'll just carry any old knife with it um, or I can carry any of my fancy knives with it. It it gives me choice. So that's it. I mean, this is, uh, as I said, a really hard knife to get. The Michigan, Michigan Jack, made by Derek Bone and Knife Ships Free. Designed by him, I should say, made by GEC. And yet I have another Northwoods. And this is a, a Queen-made one. This is when Dave Shirley, who was the, the owner of Northwood Knives, before Derek Bone bought them over. But they, he had his knives made by Queen. This is a beautiful knife. I would never think of taking this out on its own. But yet, I don't believe it's as much as that one there. And it's a beautiful, it's a different style of knife because it's made by a different company. It's got a full flat ground, lovely spear, and a lovely pen blade. So I've got a pen blade if I wanted to do any rougher work and keeping the good. But I wouldn't think of it because, again... Because this is a Dave Shirley made by Queen Northwoods knife, as you can see there, this is this rarest hen's teeth. You don't see many of these about. So I don't want to, you know, I can get one of those if I wanted to pay the money again, but I don't think I would, strangely enough. The only one that I can think Northwoods now, because I've had a few and I've passed them on, um, the only Northwoods I think I would want to get now is the same knife, that number 15 uh, size knife, with the denim micarta. I would swap most things in my collection for a denim micarta, one of those. Strange. But there we go. There's another example. 
Jack Wolf knife, like I said, I would never think of taking that out just solely by itself in case it was work. But I carry this on a regular basis for that purpose. And whatever it is, I, I decided this one, and this is the one I dyed the scale. This was natural. I dyed this red. This is one that I decided it's my I love the sheep's foot or ram's foot, whatever you want to call it. it it's a sheep's foot um blade that's so good for all sorts of different tasks. It's a real all rounder. Now whether that played a part in it, I'll carry this every day by itself. Great user. I absolutely love it. The book of the same blade steels the handles are different, but I decided this was going to be my Jack Wolf Knives work knife. The rest I'll carry, like I said, just for having a pretty knife. But this one I'll carry and use for any task at all. I can't under, I can't explain it. This is, you know, a, a rare knife to get because of what it was. This is another hard knife to get, which is the TC Barlow. Again, number 15 pattern. It's my size. Do you know what I mean? I love this knife. I have used this and I've let the patina go on and I've taken it back off again. And now I'm not using it as much because I use this more. You know, I use this a second. You know, it's this one's been changed, if you like. It doesn't have that significant of a, a high-end GEC anymore. But this does because they're so hard to get. It's like anything else. Anything that's hard to get is is nice. But yes, I did use that before. But sort of as I've got this one, I use this one less. The Ashley Harrison. Not an over expensive knife, but that abalone just looks gorgeous. And I love that as a show knife. I would carry that with me. Probably not use it very much at all. But then I've got this is an Ashley, another Ashley custom knife that he made for me. Same as that. But look at the state of this knife. It's scratched, it's battered, it's been used, it's been used on food. Anything at all, this knife has been used for. Why? When I wouldn't take that out unless I had something like this with it. I don't know. I find that really hard to explain. There's just something about knives that knives that you want to keep pretty or knives that you want to keep good in your collection. But to me, money has nothing to do with it. 280. There, I'm sure to get one of those is over 200 pound now. Um, these are expensive as well. But then I come to this one. Why won't I use that? It's a fantastic knife. The blade steel is probably better than this Ashley Harrison knife, which is just a basic knife, probably a one tool steel, Sleipner steel, I don't know, whatever the German steel. Not be that much difference between them, but yet look at the state of this knife. And this knife is only a, a couple of months old. That's a few years old and it's spotless. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I, I'll carry that. One of my favourite knife makers. I, you know, and I was sitting there. There is no rhyme or reason, and I just wonder if we're all like that. Do we all have, you know, separate reasons? Because it's obviously not financial, all of the time. It's obviously not um, function, because all my knives cut much the same for anything. All will do my day's work, no matter which one of them knives that I've taken out. They'll all cover everything and do them. So it's not a function thing. So it must be just that mental thing you have in your head. Like these two, they, they'll probably never cut anything. And I, I can't explain why they wouldn't. Because they're just beautiful. This will cut stuff, but because it's M390, it'll cut anything and I'm not going to worry about it. But I wouldn't take it out by itself. I'll have something else with it. Should it be this cheap one? And just use it instead of using that. The Pena, I can't believe how much... I'm enjoying using this. It's, you know, it's the same price, but I just, it's carbon fiber. It's so well made. It's a real fancy knife, but I'm just using it. Well, I had a second thought. I put it in my pocket. I'm quite happy. I don't look for another knife. And that's where this sort of thought process went. Why am I using this one? I have plenty of GECs. You know, I have another dozen GECs I could use over that. But I like that. You know, it's a using knife. You know, it's got a fantastic, um, Saber grind. They call this the bone cliff after uh, Derek. He's passed away now. God rest his soul. But this is just a beautifully put together knife with a saw cut bone and a real workhorse. A real workhorse. But yet most people won't use them because they're so hard to get. And if you get one, you know, you want to keep it good for resale. But I don't because I don't 
foresee me reselling this because to buy another one, I'm going to pay more than what I paid for that one. That was dear enough. I'm sure I traded it anyway. I wouldn't have paid cash. Um, or I traded something else to buy that um, because I'm not made of money. So, I mean, that, that's the difference between the knives. Sorry, my gardener's just come outside now with a strim. <laughs> but I've finished talking. What do you think? What's your reasons for carrying two knives? Is it solely because you want to have that backup? Or is it because you like uh, a backup to your good knife so that if there's any rough work? Or is it a financial thing? You carry one financial one you're not going to damage and you'll carry uh, you know, a rough rider to use. And a rough rider will get me through my day. Not a problem. Not a problem. So what is the reasons? Uh, I'm just going to put that to you. Have you got any answers? Please put them down below because I think I've covered... I think I've covered everything I thought about this morning when I went to lift this knife out and decided, why am I taking that out to use today? I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I've no plans for, you know, any hard work or light work as such. I just have it in my pocket, but I don't have a secondary. There you go. Amazing how this little mind works. <laughs> but I really would be interested to see what you think or what your decision, what makes your decision on the knife you're going to carry or do you carry to every day just because you like carrying two. And some days I do that as well. I'll just have two knives that I like and I'm going to use. It might be a testing one and it might just be a, one of these. So um, I do that as well. And it just seems to be a whole muddle of things and not, I, I, I think I've settled that it's not necessarily price whatsoever. This come from Pena. A really, a, a knife is probably a lot of people's grill knives. Especially the fact over here in the UK, it's a slip joint. It's just gorgeous, but yet I have no fear of taking this out. I just, I actually want to use it for work, for whatever reason. That I'll be more hesitant by far. Again, can't think of the reason. There's no main reason for it other than my weird head. So there we go, a whole pile of knives. I shall now go and put away because they're just knives that are in my collection that I use or don't use on a regular basis. Paddy's away for a wee cup of tea. Yeah, I know. I'm nuts. Bye now.